Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 2.9, Problem 11. This is Section 2.9, Problem 11. We have 9 minus 5 and 3 eighths. So the 9 has no fraction with it. That's the problem that makes this problem a little bit different. <clears throat> So here's one where you're really stuck with borrowing. So let's cross off the 9, reduce it by 1. So if we reduce 9 by 1, it goes down to an 8. And then I'll just make a fraction show up. And I'll make it 8 over 8. And what I want, 8 over 8 is equal to 1. So I have 8 and 1 more is still 9. I still have a 9. And I chose to make the fraction part 8 over 8 because I want it to match the denominator of the lower fraction, which has a denominator of 8. So if the denominator in the lower fraction was, say, 11, I would have made this 11 over 11. It's, it's a 1, but, and you want a common denominator. So since I started with a denominator of 8, I want to match it, 8 over 8. Now the way it's written, I can go ahead and subtract. I have a common denominator. The numerators, if I subtract 8 minus 3, that's 5. My common denominator is 8. Then for my whole numbers, it's 8 minus 5, which is 3. So my answer is 3 and 5 eighths. And ask yourself, can you reduce that? And the answer is no, you can't. So 3 and 5 eighths is the final answer.